As we mourn the victims, the big question here is why? Well, police are still looking into that. They did release more information about their investigation today. Our Matt Whitcoast joins us with more on that. Matt. Aaron Sharon uh, Michael Bouchard says that Ethan Crumbly shot 30 rounds with his dad's handgun that was purchased four days ago and that the teenager had an additional 18 rounds on him when they took him into custody and the sheriff also taking the time to explain some allegations that have been made after a video taken inside the classroom has now gone viral. Charging this person as an adult is necessary to achieve justice and protect the public. Any other option would put all of us at risk to this, uh, of this person because they could be released and still a threat. As the suspected gunman remains behind bars held without bond, the Oakland County Sheriff told reporters Wednesday this deadly attack could have been much more tragic if not for the quick thinking of first responders. With this much ammunition still with him, 18 live rounds, uh, the quick actions of the school and the lockdown, uh, as well as the deputies getting in and and going to the sound, <clears throat> going to the danger, save lives. Investigators say they have a quote, a mountain of digital evidence in the case as they continue to investigate a motive, but do say the attack was premeditated and that the suspect wrote in a journal about shooting students and also talked about shooting and killing students in videos that were recorded the night before Tuesday's rampage at Oxford High School. Now we're not willing to take that risk right now. And speaking of videos, investigators are now clearing up the allegations surrounding this footage, which has been circulating online where students heard someone knock on the door claiming to be the sheriff's office. Okay, well, come to the door and look at my bag, bro. Investigators now squashing any rumors that it was a suspect impersonating law enforcement. More than likely, it was one of our plainclothes detectives, and he may have been talking, bro, in a conversational manner to try to bring them down from the crisis to say, come on, bro, let's get out of the classroom, let's get you outside. Sheriff Bouchard also explaining that school officials met with the suspect's parents both the day before and just hours before the school shooting to talk about their son's behavior. Please understand that I cannot and they cannot disclose any details or evidence that could compromise our case. I, I, do, I really can't go into the specific issues on either day, but two different meetings happened. Prior to those two meetings, investigators say that there was nothing to know in the gunman's file about any behavior or any disciplinary action against him before those two meetings, like I mentioned. Meanwhile, many are questioning what charges the parents might face. At this time, there are none. The sheriff and prosecutor both commenting on that could change as this investigation continues. In the control room, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.